Guys, welcome to today's video. It is the Marbella Hybrid Entrepreneur Summit. I said very briefly a couple of videos ago that I'm gonna put on a really big business event in Marbella and we did it, we did it. So we had the competition and now we got this. It has just been a non-stop year. So everyone's arriving now. We're about to head in. The plan is we're doing all the talks now. We've got some killers in every industry talking about their journey. Then later on, we got a yacht party. Then tomorrow, Sunday, we got beach club and then big fancy dinner. So it's a two day event. Let's get it started. First impressions, I was here like a month ago and the venue looked great. Now I'm here, all done up, the nice cushions, couches, the music's playing, the bar's full, even better than I expected. Like, wow, I'm like, I'm nervous, I'm excited. Yeah, I haven't done one of these kind of talks since maybe 2019, 18, with the creator agency. So it feels so good to be back, you know? Like, doing events, public speaking, it's something that I'm very passionate about. I love it. And having not done it in so long, like even like the pandemic, you know, threw everything off so much and I feel weird when I'm not doing it. So to be doing this event again in Marbella, you know, in essentially my hometown now, it just feels insane. First time public speaking in a long, long time. What a turnout, what a venue. So I'm gonna go up now, intro the day, say what the day is all about. Talk a little bit about my journey, how I manufactured the life that I wanted to live, the life of freedom. And that's gonna be the theme of today as well. Let's go, baby! Try to get a big let's go on three. One, two, three, let's go! My name is Rob Lipset for people that don't know me, and I've been in the online fitness space for Oh God, it's coming up to a decade now. I'm <laughs> like, shit, I'm getting old. <laughs> so I was failing pretty much every single thing in life. I was lying in bed till 2 p.m. I was lost, I had no direction. I didn't know what I wanted to do in my life. I was getting fired from every single job. Like I was working in Hollister and I got fired. I'm like, how the fuck did I just get fired from Hollister? Like, Jesus Christ, God damn. And so I, I had to strip everything back in life. I uh, failed college, bottom of my year in school, again, fired from pretty much every job. I couldn't hold down anything. And one thing that I want you guys to ask yourself today, okay, if you could just do anything in the world and you knew you couldn't fail, what would it be? Okay, and so for me, I was going to the gym and lifting some damn weights. <laughs> so I said, how the hell am I gonna make a living out of going to the gym? Like that's like a leisurely activity, you know? Like I, I could be so lucky. And I even said to my parents, and you know, they told me I'm crazy. They didn't exactly you know, put me down, but they didn't understand that I wanted to be an online fitness trainer. And so they thought I was gonna be doing jumping jacks through Skype. <laughs> Which <laughs> it's not the case. Well, although lockdown, I think a few people were doing that. And so I explained to them, and you know, they didn't have a clue what it was. So right now, I am at this stage where I'm doing nothing, okay? And I've quit from my you know, every job fire and everything. So I said, okay, how am I gonna get my message out there? I see all these guys in America killing it on YouTube, okay? All uploading their workouts, uploading what they eat in a day. And giving dispelling common training and fitness myths. And I said, in Ireland, no one is doing that. Okay. And this is my little claim of fame. I'm the first Irish fitness YouTuber ever. Like I know, it, it's actually crazy to say there was no one doing the online fitness in Ireland. So I picked up my iPhone 5, I sat it to the wall because I didn't have a tripod, couldn't, couldn't afford it at the time, and I just clicked play. And that was the single best decision I ever made in my entire life. That moment I clicked play and started putting my message out there to the world, started actually finding something that I was passionate about and actually getting a good response. I said, maybe I'm not a failure. Maybe I just haven't been trying at the right things. And so at the time, no one watched, 
Yeah, I mean, it got like a couple of hundred views, and I was like, oh my god, 100 views! <laughs> you know, it was awesome. And, but I just kept going because I didn't care. And it was a bit of kind of a burn the boats feeling. I had, I had no other option. I had nothing else to do, no connections to get a job, you know, no job, and you know, no college degree or anything. So I kept going. I kept talking about things that I was passionate about. I want to do with fitness and training. And then all of a sudden, people started asking me, hey, could you do me a fitness plan? So I said, all right. I think I got a little light bulb moment. Can you give us 20 euro for it? <laughs> <laughs> and boom, just like that, it was the first entrepreneurial, it was the first online sale I ever made. And that was one of the best feelings ever and so i remember i put together an ebook at the time and it was just like i just wrote down everything that i would have liked to know when i was starting my fitness journey and then i wrote a chapter on each one went on to fiverr whatever it was got some graphic designer in brazil for 100 euro to make an ebook and then i put this ebook together for 20 euro there was one training one 20 euro one nutrition one 20 euro and then I buy the two for 30 euro I was like, oh god, I'm a genius. I'm gonna be rich! The biggest kind of thing that we've achieved over the last seven years is we've helped scale eight businesses to an exit. So that's the founders, our clients, have either sold all of the business or a portion of the business for over seven figures, which is the best case study I could possibly show you because, you know, rather than come up here and saying, yeah, we've done this, we've done that, the clients are always what comes first. And that's something that's also taken me a lot of time to learn on this journey. Two weeks later, I entered real estate to someone's advice that told me, look, I know what you like. I know what you like with people. I know what, what you, you like with, I know my partner's there, baby, I love you. But he was saying to me, he's like, look, I know what you like with girls. You're very charismatic. You've got an energy. And I thought, you know what? When I was 21, 20, 21, I tried to get a job in real estate. And they fucking said no, because I didn't have experience. That's what I got told. And I thought, let's try this again. And best, probably the thing that you guys ask yourselves is how do you get into real estate? My best advice is get yourself a mentor and someone that inspires you, not just anyone. Someone that inspires you, that's where you want to be. You know, someone that can guide you to get to where you want to be. And thankfully, I did that. And three years later, I've earned what? Maybe what we got? Seven figures? By that? A little, little break, a little coffee break, get caffeinated, get hydrated, shout to each other, smash the <laughs> There we go, right on cue, that was perfect. <laughs> oh man, what a start to the morning. I'm just in the best food ever. Sick. All right guys, so next up we have the one and only Adam Power, fellow Irishman, so tell him what are you going to speak about? Today I'm going to be speaking about my lessons over the past five years running my own business, starting from scratch, getting it to where we are today, speaking about lessons from networking, living in Marbella, the e-commerce world, and we're going to finish off with a Q&A. It's a good life. And so we have this picture, we get, we'll put it on the screen, we'll put it on the screen, <laughs> and the two of us at a speaking event. It was so many years ago and Adam was in the crowd and now we're speaking together. So the law of attraction, something we're both big into. Absolutely crazy stuff. So so proud of you, bro. Thank you. You know, I was really getting through the, the course that I ended up buying from from Ty Lopez. And basically at the end of the course he teaches you how to actually get clients. Okay. The course is a four month course. I done it twice in two months. So I was just locked in my room. My parents were saying Adam's given up, he's playing video games all day. But I was actually learning, I was actually learning a skill that allowed me to, you know, have a, a life of freedom and create things that I never thought would have been even imaginable today, right, five years ago. So eventually I finished the course and then I spent six months kicking down doors, knocking down doors, eventually looking to get to a place where I can start creating that 26K from my previous job into, in, in, from my laptop, from my computer, where I can get up in the morning, I can do what I want throughout the day, and eventually that happened. So eventually I got my first client, as I said, I would have cut their grass if they wanted me to cut their grass. And I said, came down, had the meeting with the first client and eventually, so, and eventually I became a freelancer. So this was a barber shop I was offering uh, 
Facebook ads, Google ads, etc., for, for this company. What we're going to talk about today, James is going to come on and talk about omnipresence. So how to grow your traffic organically as well as with paid traffic on not just on one platform, not just Instagram or just Facebook, but uh, across across the board, across multiple different platforms. And then I'm going to talk about monetizing traffic. I actually started off at age 11, uh, basically buying and selling Fred Perry polo shirts from Gumtree with my Christmas money. Um, I didn't even have a bank account at the time, so I had to upload it onto my mum's card, uh, buy the uh, Fred Perry polo shirts, sell them at school out of the backpack. I, I don't know if there's a few sweet dealers in the room, you know, the uh, guys used to sell Mentos out their bags. Um, and I did that, and yeah, it's just evolved, evolved and evolved and evolved. Um, and I have never, and I've been uh, completely transparent, the last two years, um, I have really started looking to pay traffic, and I've always been organic. If I'm honest, it's all I've really known. I really want to see more people from today get on YouTube. I know it's the most daunting platform, it takes hours to edit a video. You have to fly in a videographer. Shout out Blas, best in the game. We're gonna make a movie today. YouTube is the only platform that I actually properly invest in with editors, videography. Yeah. Oh God, the camera equipment's over 10K at this stage. But the, it's so important because it all trickles down. You make a YouTube video, chop that into a reel. You get the text, the captions, you know, AI can do that now, which Ellie will talk about. You turn that into a blog post, a Twitter thread. It all actually starts from YouTube. And if you make a YouTube video, you can actually create a piece of content on every single platform from that YouTube video, but you can't do it backwards. You cannot turn a vertical post into a YouTube video. But now next up, very on trend at the moment, we have the aptly named Elliot Wise. That is his real name. Who's gonna be talking about AI and how it's gonna elevate your business. But I had a conversation with I think Josh in the back of the, the room the other day. He asked me, he said, right, okay, Elliot, well, if everyone's gonna have all this amazing technology and we're all doing the best ads in the world, best creatives, and we're pumping out brilliant copy, and everyone's using the same tools, how the fuck do I sell anything? Like, what's gonna set me apart from everyone else? And this is what Rob, and a lot of the other you guys preaching here, it's personal brand. So it's your job as business owners to really start, and I, I use the analogy, light yourself on fire. You can have the best service in the world, you can, you can care about your customer more than anyone else on the planet, but if no one's fucking watching you or looking at you, you simply aren't gonna sell anything. And one of my favorite quotes about AI is the one you may have heard and about the tractor and the farmer, okay? When the tractor was invented and it drove onto the farm, a lot of farmers freaked out. And then the ones that were successful, they said, oh, this is gonna be super useful. I'm gonna hop on this tractor. So be the farmers that hop on the tractor that is AI. It is lunchtime. This is the best weather we've had all week, by the way. I was worried about that. This is the first thing I've ate today. The talks are all going so amazing. Like honestly, the energy in the room, the feedback. Like look around, everyone, it's, it's paradise. You know, it's absolutely nuts. So we're gonna enjoy this. Food has been bang on. Just finished a little fruit salad there. Getting our micronutrients in. Having a healthy day because we're not gonna have a healthy evening. And I'm here for it. Man, thank you. Here guys, this is Mario. He's the owner of Nutri-Nuts. Um, if you watched even like back in 2019 uh, on, yeah. on the, the Chelsea event that we yeah, did, you know, we had some nutrients there. So we've got a nice little bond going here, bonding over peanut butter cups. But uh, yeah. they're amazing. Honestly, you should check the brand out. Absolutely so delicious. So we're the last round of speakers. We got Jesse Meester, who is the owner of Meester Estates. He's going to talk to us about property and also personal branding. He's got over a million followers online, so he's done a great job of that. So give it up for Jesse. I was 23, I started doing television. I always had a passion for acting. I went to the US, I did drama acting school in New York City. Uh, I love peace in my own house, by the way, but I love drama in, in the acting space on television. So I woke up a week later after doing some television in America with 300, 400,000 followers. Started getting sponsorship deals, started getting questions. Like my whole life was different and I realized the potential of personal branding back then. So we're coming to the end and now we've got a very interesting panel, I guess you could say. We've got Luke Barnett and Sterling Cooper. All right, so some of you know who I am already. Some of you have no idea. Uh, that might be a surprise. So I am a retired porn star <laughs> turned, uh, well, over the last three years, I've transformed my previous career performing under high pressure situations. 
And now I am the world's best sex coach for men anywhere on the planet ever. So that's what I do now. I basically sell info products that I create through my funnel, which is primarily based around social media. We sat down for a, a two hour podcast yesterday and it was like a one on one coaching lesson. <laughs> it was a masterclass for me. I was just writing in, oh, so that's what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> and Luke, why, why don't you fill, fill them in what you do as well? I told you it's the two most interesting <laughs> in, in the whole day. We're saving the best for last. Well, um, my background's dealing with high pressure situations as well. <laughs> Slightly different. Mine's uh, through a cage door from fighting in UFC. So a little bit of a different spin than Sterling. Uh, and then I also transitioned into sell selling online info products that so were dealing with ha uh, you know, high pressure situations and stress management, all this sort of stuff. Uh, and then working at own an events company that puts on events very, very similar to this. So see you all tonight in Port of Manus. Let's have another round of applause. Thanks so much for today. Thanks. All right, guys, so the event, the speaking part of the event is all done. And now it's the fun time. So we got this big ass yacht called the Nina all to ourselves for the next seven hours. Unlimited bar. We can have as many people on as we want as it's docked in Port of News. Like, look at this location. Look at where we are, okay? This is my first time seeing it. So we're gonna go on. This is my first impression. Oh my God. No, I'm just looking at it now. They got a free, a free bar and everything. Oh my God, let's go, let's go, let's go. Here is the woman that made it all happen. Layla Offshore Marbella. Let's get of course. See, she's usually on front of the camera. She's usually fun. All right, okay, yacht tour, let's go. We got a photo shoot going on here. We got a hot tub here. We got food. The champagne is getting poured. Oh my God. So let's check out downstairs. I have not seen this yet. I did not realize there were so many bedrooms here. What the hell? We have a full kitchen in here. Check this. Oh my God, look at that. That should do us tonight. Plenty of whiskey. We did four months monk mode and now it's time to uh, have a little bit of fun. Let's check out these bedrooms in here. We got one double bed in here. Not too bad. We got, we got a bathroom in here. Check this. Dobby used the wide angle lens. Yeah. <laughs> like this. Okay. And then. Oh my God. <laughs> Two bedrooms in here. Blaz, are you sleeping here tonight? Let's see. You in here, me in here. Bunk buddies. <laughs> we got another bathroom in here. What the hell? We got a shower. We got, we got a golden shower. <laughs> oh my God. Let's go back upstairs. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is huge. Oh, we got the master bedroom here. What the hell? Oh my God. Flat screen. Like, what a buzz. Like, like it's like, it's so fun. It's like you do something productive and then you go enjoy the night. What the hell? Another bathroom in there. Another one there. This is absolutely wild. So we're gonna invite everyone onto the yacht now. Uh, obviously it's parked in the port, so people will be having like dinner beside the yacht. They'll come and they go. So Mike was an online client of mine. And now he's flown all the way from America, from Boston. Crazy how events like these can bring the world together. Here we go. See, I would have cut. I would have cut the other end. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dad. <laughs> you gotta light the outside. Stick in your mouth. Right. And you wanna light it at a 45 degree angle, you're gonna light it. I'll tell you what it's done. Then you should be like sucking on it as it goes. You should get like fire to come from it. So that's what you want. So now rotate. So rotate, keep rotating. That's it, perfect. Keep rotating. Got keep it. rotating, absolutely perfect. There you go. That's it. Now keep going, keep going, keep going. One more, one more, one more. Keep going, good work. Come. Come. That's it. Come. Easy. Tastes good, man. Prep is done. Tastes good when you made it. Prep is done. <laughs> now we're living the good life, man. We're living the yacht life. <laughs> the, with the cigars, I'm done, man. I like that. Man, I'm done. I like that. Man, this is the coolest feeling I've ever had in my life. God damn it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, there we, now now we've now we've officially now we're successful. In the last five minutes, I just became successful because I lit a cigar properly. So right, boys, look, we're here in the yacht. The turnout's insane. The vibe's insane. The yacht's insane. Everything is perfect, right? So we're gonna enjoy, have a good night, and then we got day two tomorrow. So see you guys there. Done.